Hey, Melissa, we're in the car and we're coming to your house. So we'll see you in a couple days. Love you. Bye. Bye. Chaparral Motor Inn. Chaparral. Chaparral Inn in Burlington, Bur Colorado. Yes, yes. This is the morning of day two. Had a little bit of a rough night. You had, you had a rough night? No, no. I didn't say I had a little. I said... Oh, I thought I thought had. your la I thought your last night was rough. For you. So... There might have been... Because I kept you up part of the night and was waking <laughs> you up as I was going to the bathroom. The hurl. Puking up my guts. <laughs> so I don't know if it was uh, chicken and wedges. From, yeah, from that Chester's oh, Chicken Place. Yeah, or if, it, or if it was the chicken pot pie. Oh, it couldn't have been that. It was too yummy. It was too yummy. I think it was just too much solid hard food. It was too much, just too much. Yeah, yeah, it was just too much sitting down. So, anyway. He's up, up and at him behind the wheel. Yeah, I can stand up now without puking. So God bless us all. All right. Anything else? Okay. We're good? Nope, we're going to, well, oh, where are we going tonight? We're hoping to get to Springfield, Missouri. So that's from Colorado all the way across Kansas and into Missouri. And then hopefully tomorrow, Sunday, we will get to Holly Springs. Holly Springs. Have a good one. As we were driving, we saw tons and tons of signs for a place called Fantastic Caverns. And so we decided to be a little bit adventurous and go see what this was all about. It was on, there was a cute little gift shop. There were um, tours and things. So we signed up for the tour and we rode the trailer on the back of a, it was a Jeep. And it was really fun. The tour was about 45 minutes or so. And we had a great time. We turned off the road looking for a visitor center. Maybe a mistake, maybe not. Hey. We are turning into Holly Glen. Oh my gosh, we are so close. This is a nice looking neighborhood. Holly Branch Drive. Turning. Our destination will be on the left. And Natalie says that she will be waiting outside. 508. This is 604. It's going to be a little way. What a oh, cute yeah, neighborhood. Right Where? Right up there. Oh, yep. <laughs> There's my daddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right here? Hi, Nat. Okay. Hey, it turned off. What the hell? Okay, this is Stephen, Melissa's, Noah, Natalie's um, house, Hi. Holly Springs. 508, spent the night, looks very nice, nice, beautiful weather out today. Yeah, there's another good view there, that's a good idea. You might want to say Mordecai or Mordecai because of the pronunciation, but we went through this tour. Yeah, this was in Raleigh, um, just about 45 minutes from Melissa's house. It was really close. And we went to this mansion, and it's called the Mordecai Mansion, but it's spelled Mordecai.
this. So this is the church right here inside. Beautiful church, beautiful organ and platform up front. But one of the things that was really cool was all of the original books that were in the house that belonged to the original owners of the home. There were bookshelves and bookshelves of these old, old books, the complete library that the owners had. Um, so this, we hear this um, creaking upstairs, like footsteps. But this is a haunted house. And she often hears the footsteps or creaking on the floor um, when she's doing tours. And sometimes she said, sometimes she thinks that she's just hearing things, but she was really glad that we heard it too. And we validated that she, that we heard it. So anyway, it was really interesting. Steve and Melissa took us to a place in Durham called Fat Daddy's and it was so good. It was a great, um, bar and restaurant and we had a fun time. Whoa! <laughs> Why did you say, oh my hell? <laughs> because oh my you God. punched the gas and okay. made us There's go really close to that little dragon. And I didn't know what you were doing, and it kind of caught me off guard. What, we're at Surf City, 2602. And we got here a few minutes early. Let's go check it out. Whoa, Natalie. We had a fun time at the, the beach, looking at everything. Um, there's some rocks that Melissa loved picking up and collecting her seashells. Also, Noah, um, we caught him watching television with the binoculars. That was fun to see. It was really funny. I looked up and there he was with Robert's binoculars watching holes on TV. And it, Steve came out of the bedroom and said, Noah, what are you doing? Are you are you watching TV with the binoculars? And Noah goes, Yeah, like, yeah, of course. It was awesome. He was so smart. Big screen on call. Yeah. But we're at the Wellington Beach. Like naughty dog restaurant. Yeah, naughty dog. Naughty dog. We're gonna eat naughty dog. It's yeah, well yeah. And it is now, is it Saturday? Friday. Well, Friday. 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 So we Friday. just got away from us. Yeah, yeah. We just, yeah, so we um, are going to have one of the naughty dogs. Yep. What happened? On the pier in Carolina City. I don't want one. Carolina Beach. And there is our crew. I don't know what. What's that? What is it? Queso is melted cheese. Yeah, queso is melted cheese. So that's a naughty dog. What was this one called? That's a chicken salad baguette. Chicken salad baguette? Oh, that's really this good. This one's a chili dog. Chili dog. Chili dog. Oh, nice. Nice. Now we have a nacho. Nacho. Look at all all the people on the beach. Just tons of people, and it's not even busy season yet. Quite a bit different from the beach we was just at, but that was a secret spot. And if you want to know it, I'll tell you for five bucks. The Phoenix. Whoa. We're gonna win. Okay. Nally and Elliot are going to play so good. They're going to have a great time. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> there you go, Dad. Kick it! Yeah! Good, good, good! Go, Krista! Good job! Good job. Good this job. is Natalie's good first job. attempt ever at being on a soccer team and playing soccer, Daddy, and Daddy. she was having a fun time. She's learning a lot. Yes. She says she's going to play again in the fall. And um, we just really enjoyed watching her. It was fun it was and fun. entertaining. And she had fun. She's a smile on her face the whole time.
Hey, let's take pictures of everybody. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we are. We are at Mellow Mushroom in Durham, North Carolina. Right. It is Saturday, and this place is popping. Right. And so we have all of our food here. And then go over here. And there's the food. Dre. Hi, Dre. Dre. <laughs> Dre. And we are going to Emerald Hollow Mine. We're going to dig for some gems. And we just went through a heavy, heavy downpour. And I missed it. Darn it. But sure it's pretty out here. But we've got a rainy day to go mining. And there you have it. And Robert's driving. Hi, Robert. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. And Natalie's in the back. We bought a bucket of rocks planted in dirt so that we could sluice our own. <laughs> um, you get to pick from these buckets right here. Half hour to sluice all of those rocks yeah. or more. But it was fun. We had a good time. The rocks that were in the bucket, were there were some pretty ones. They were awesome. They're not the greatest quality, but we had a great time. So these were the $1,000 ones, right? And then this is $125. $150. $150. These are $500. These are $500. And I know what the two fifties look like because I have one of them. Robert, can you put a couple of scoops in my... Yes, yes. So we are in Mount Airy, North Carolina, and this is in Snappy Lunch, which is, which is referred to in the Andrew Griffith Show, which is the greatest show ever produced in Hollywood. And let it be known that I will always stop at Snappy Lunch when I'm in North Carolina. I'll always walk by Snappy Lunch, but I'll go down to the other store and get ice cream instead. So we wanted to have an activity, so we decided, or I decided, suggested um, Gatlinburg over at the Ridley's Aquarium, and it was fun. Um, saw a lot the sharks exhibit was really great. It was. We got to walk through the tunnel and watch the sharks swimming above us and beside us, and they were terrifying, but it was great. Yeah. So, you know, fun aquarium. Looked around. Gatlinburg was in full throttle tourist season. I did not know Gatlinburg was a tourist town, but oh my heck. It was buried with people, and it's near Dollywood, and it's near um, Fort, what's that fort that it's close to? Fort Pigeon, Fort Pigeon. Okay. Um, and so there were a lot of people there, but it was a great stop. Tom and Earl's Back Alley Grill, and what did you say, oh my gosh? I what said, a oh my gosh, what a story. We, this is also in Gatlinburg. After we got out of the aquarium, we were looking for a place that was in walking distance to go and eat because our hotel was right across the street. So we decided to go to this little joint and it was... It basically, it, it, it took us an hour plus to get oh, yeah. in to go be seated. The food was, was good. It was good, yeah. But um, it was the adventure of waiting for the hour, watching people get in front of us, sitting up to the bar, eating before and leaving before we even got seated. So very They were liars because they said, oh, we're not going to order anything to eat. We just want to get a drink. The joke that Robert came up with was whenever the, the hostess would say, oh, it'll be about 15 or 20 minutes to get you seated because, you know, people were coming. And then Robert would just say loud, unless your name is Robert, it's 45 minutes. <laughs> So we stayed in 
a little suburb of Denver on the west side Lakewood? of the city. I, yeah, I think it was Lakewood. And we were watching the weather, kind of nervous, because there was a big storm that was coming over the Sierras, and we figured that, you know, we might have to stay an extra day in Colorado. Eisenhower yeah, Tunnel. Yeah, really bad. <laughs> yeah. Complete blizzard whiteout conditions. <laughs> This was <laughs> this part, snowy what? part you see here was the worst part of the trip, um, but it only lasted about an hour or two, and we got through it just fine. It was a beautiful drive, um, and it was great, a great way to get home. We yeah. went home through Colorado um, over the Vail Pass, and still going for an hour. Yeah. Ish. Not bad. But, yeah, not bad. The heavy tropic has kept us going slow. Yeah. Then after Julie um, was home, her brother called and said, Hey, I need a navigator to go to Phoenix to pick up some well drilling stuff. And so Julie went on another two three day three, road trip. <laughs> three day road trip right after we got home. So Julie got a lot of miles on. Yes, this is the year that I will log my travel miles for sure. See how many I get. <laughs>